greetings and salutations from the road to the Cambodian uh, countryside. We're heading from the capital, Phnom Penh, where we arrived yesterday on a trip from Bangkok to the food producing region of Cambodia. So we're looking to meet with farmers and organic cultivation uh, uh, people who are actually making a living out of trying to preserve the same tree and the same source of, uh, of, uh, of fragrance that another group of people is trying to actually destroy. The second group of people being unethically minded people who seem to want to do everything possible to source every last bit of wild wood that remains in the jungles. What this has led to is the emergence of a, uh, if you will, of a black market where people source any amount of wood wood and they sell it to the China market as it is known. It's known as the China market because in, in China, wood wood is sought after, it is sought out for its, uh, because it's believed to be a lucky kind of substance it's not it's not so you know you and i we want oud so that we can smell nice we want oud so that we can have a spiritual experience by either burning it or wearing the oil or uh or you know or meditating by by using it or being grateful you know to to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for creating this this unearthly scent and, and putting it on earth whereas the 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 uh, purveyors of the china market what, what they're after is, is carving. So they, they want to carve things out of it because it's, it's a precious substance. So rather than have something carved out of uh, normal wood, if you carve it out of precious wood, i.e. agar wood, then it is worth so much. I mean, it's worth, you know, some of these little statues and these little Buddhas and these little trinkets that they carve out of it, even things as small as, you know, little beads that they make bracelets out of, sell for tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. So you can get a bracelet that sells, you know, for $200,000 for just, you know, 11 beads on it. If the wood is black and, and, and fragrant enough, then what's that going to do to the to the community or the, if you will, the market that, that seeks out this wood for a finite purpose, i.e. that brings it to an end, such as uh, you know, oil consumption. If you, if, you, if you use it as a fragrance, as an oil, as a natural perfume, you put it on your skin, it's finite. You put it on your skin, then it ends. After that, you don't, you know, the, the swipe that you applied is no longer in your bottle. The chip that you burnt on your, on your incense burner is no longer there. So it's not the same as a lasting or as a, uh, as a, as a uh, jewelry or a whatever piece of, uh, of uh, good luck wood, as they would like to call it. So we're trying to do something where we can discourage at least the people that are after this wood for, for its olfactory, for its aromatic value. We're trying to have a major shift in the market. We want people to start being a bit more ethically minded when they use this substance. We want them to think about its finitude, the fact that it's finite, the fact that it's endangered, highly endangered, I should say. And if you want it to be around for your even for yourself, but you know, not to mention your children and your grandchildren, then you should use organic food 